Hello everyone, it has been a while but I'm coming back to the channel. I don't know how often I'll be able to play and upload, so I've decided I'm just going to start new regular account, WAP membership on it, no Iron Man, no restrictions, just play how I want to play, see what progress I can make and just have fun really. So I will see you as I start to build the account in the coming video and hopefully you will enjoy. Bit of quick early money, just a bit of wood cutting, going to buy the rune axe, train a bit more wood cutting, get maybe 20-30k and some more levels and then work on some quests. Quickly popped over to Draenor to buy just a couple of teleports to Varrock. Uh, just gives me an early teleport without having to spend too much on teleport tablets. Two nests in quick succession. We have a seed nest. 1.5k, it's not what it could have been, but it helps. And we have a beginner clue scroll. Which is quite near, so I'm going to go and do that now. Coming in with the final step of the beginner clue casket. And we get... You know what? Considering it's a beginner, it could have been a lot worse. There we are. That is me done woodcutting for now. And we have ended up with just over 33k. Uh, 35 wood cutting. I was tempted to go to 41, but I got a bit bored. So I'm going to go and bash out a few quests now. Uh, try and get the ones which get my combat stats up a bit. So I can look at maybe starting a bit of Slayer soon. Um, not sure exactly which ones I'll do, but uh, you will find out shortly. Just completed Witch's Potion. Uh, got myself to 6 magic, uh, I'm aiming for 13 just for fire strike, uh, just to make a few quests a little bit more possible. That is fight arena complete, gets up to 29 attack and 14 thieving. I'm also currently working on, if I can find it, which I can't. Uh, Tree Gnome Village and Waterfall Quest. Coming in with Tree Gnome Village completed. That gives me 11.5k attack experience. Gets me up to level 35. Gives me the one way travel to the Gnome Stronghold. Obviously I need to complete... Uh, the other quest in the line, the next quest in the line, um, which I can't remember the name of, somehow. And yeah, so I will now quickly bash out 1 to 10 agility as I'm here, and then I will go back to finishing Waterfall Quest. Here we are, about to complete Waterfall Quest. And that gives us 30 strength and 40 attack. Uh, I'm going to have a look at what I'm going to do now, but that gives us the ability to wield a rune simi and also start Slayer. That is Murder Mystery completed. There is the Sea Slug quest complete. That gets me to 24 fishing. And as you can tell by the swamp paste in my inventory, I'm off to do a bit of fishing trawler. Five trips in and we have our first piece of angler. We need 34 to wear it, but if I get it all sorted now, 34 won't take me too long to get. Eight KC in and that is a second piece of angler. This is going very well. Well... Trawler's going rather well. That is 10kc and three of the four pieces already achieved. Well, that went remarkably well. Um, yeah, that's uh, all four of the angler pieces in 
11 KC and I'm pretty sure that it's a 1 in 12 drop rate. Um, so, yeah, I'm obviously very happy with that as I hate this mini game. Um, so I'll be moving on and looking at what I'm going to do next. Just quickly got 34 fishing so I can wear the lovely full angler set. Uh, I think it gives something like 2.5% extra experience. So between here and 99 eventually, it should speed things up quite a bit. That is below Ice Mountain, which is the end of quite a lot of progress with the free-to-play quests. Uh, it's everything done except for Dragon Slayer 1. Um, which I will be preparing for, although I do need to get a few things like my defence and hit points up first. I've done a bit of enchanting just to get my magic level up to 33 so I can telegrab the map piece from Wormbrain. Um, 130k cash stacks, not huge, but we're more focused on uh, getting quests done and content unlocked before making money at the moment. Um, but I'm going to go off do a few more quests for defence and hit points to prepare for Dragon Slayer. Merlin's Crystal complete, now on to Holy Grail. That is the Holy Grail quest complete. Uh, 29 prayer and 33 defence. Uh, I'm off to do Witch's House, I believe. Yeah, Witch's House, uh, which will give me a quick boost to my hit points level. And then after that, I will get Dragon Slayer done. That is Elvarg defeated. Now off to Oziac to get my reward. Elvar killed, we're at Oziak. And this will be the completion of Dragon Slayer 1. And every single free to play quest is done. Uh, so I have time now to move on to doing more pay to play quests. And that gives us 40 defense so I can upgrade to Rune Armor when I have enough money. Been doing a bit of AFK fishing while I've been doing some other things. So I've got to 60 fishing, 34 agility, and 43 strength. Um, I've still got a little bit of AFK to do, but I will probably move on to doing some woodcutting instead. Finished off my AFK at woodcutting. And I got 55 woodcutting and then did a little bit of fire making and then just bought some maple logs to finish it off. Uh, I plan to do a little bit of winter tod. Um, not really the best money maker, but it gets my fire making up, gets me a little bit of money and just progresses the account a little bit. Uh, there's a few skills I want to get up before I do Winter Todd, so a bit of mining, uh, want to at least unlock Herblore and then maybe get to level 30 or 40 just to increase my herb gains and a little bit of fletching, maybe a little bit more construction and also a tiny bit of farming, although I'm not too bothered about that. So I'm going to move on, get a few of those stats up, and then see you at Winter Todd. Here I am just finishing up Druidic Ritual, very quick quest. And that is three Herblore and access to the Herblore skill. So on to getting some levels up in advance of Winter Todd. Join me at the mess as I am just about to complete the Hasidious House favour. 37 cooking as well. Um, got into the low 40s for fletching and mining. And up to 37 cooking. Uh, I've done this so I can unlock 
the tithe mini game and also grow grapes in the vinery from when I am I believe level 36 yeah 36 farming which is a very good farming XP and also the allotment uh, patch in Hasidius which is fully protected at 50% here I am set up ready to start winter tod starting at 50 farm making I'll probably go to about 80 and then open our crates just hit 70 fire making uh, 56 wood cutting 48 fletching 22 construction uh, 42 KC I'm going to take a break now so I'm going to open all of the crates and we'll see what we get warm gloves that's an oh and the pyromancer garb it started quite well oh snake grass seeds on the floor and i missed them damn and a tome of fire that is what we like to see that is 700k nearly onto the account let's go for the next 10 this is going very well so far And there's the Pyromancer Hood. And next 10. Ridiculous luck and give me the pet for the first time ever. Probably not. Some burnt pages. Not a lot on that one. Let's go for 10 and then the final two. Rain RC, that's nice. Broom a torch, there we go. We only need the legs and the boots now. Uh, nothing much on that inventory. And the final two. Another torch. Okay, so we'll save up the duplicates and trade them in at the end of Winter Todd. Uh, but I'm going to take a break now and probably go and do some more wood cutting. Working on some quests for quality of life. I need 31 crafting for Lost City, working towards Fairy Tale Part 1 and Fairy Rings. So I'm doing Elemental Workshop 1 and I'm going to go do Elemental Workshop 2. That is Elemental Workshop 2 done. Gives us 36 smithing, 32 crafting, which is enough for Lost City. And we also made another mind bar. So we are going to make the mind shield as well, so we don't have to come back later. Lost City done. On to Priest in Peril and Nature Spirit. Priest in Peril done. Now on to Nature Spirit. Nature Spirit done, now just Fairy Tale Part 1 to go. Fairy Tale Part 1 completed, that gets me to 20 farming, uh, 42 attack as well. And it means I can now unlock Fairy Rings and then I think I'm going to move on to Plague City and Biohazard so I can unlock the RD Cloak 1 for the teleport to the monastery. Plague City done, on to Biohazard. Biohazard done, and I'll move on to finishing the last few bits of the RD Easy Diary. There is the RD Easy Diary done. A nice RD cloak and our antique lamp, which I can only use on a skill above 30, and I can't be bothered to keep it, so it's going on to prayer going to finish it there for this first episode it's gone a bit longer than i expected but we've made some good progress um just over 700 total level uh free to play quests all done um not many members quests done but some decent ones covered um i'll do some afk in between hopefully get 
maybe some more fishing and wood cutting levels and cooking aiming to get farming up to at least 34 for tithe and then probably start working on some slayer after that um so i hope you enjoyed um like and subscribe if you want to and hopefully i'll have some more content out soon